Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my current loves, February 2015. If you guys wanna know what I've been loving for February, just keep on watching. My first favorite is this Makeup Pro Sculpting Duo in 01, and it is honestly such a gorgeous highlight. I don't tend to use the bronzer just cause it runs a little bit orange on me. But this highlight is so, so pretty. I really do want... Do you see that pigment? Oh my gosh. I am wearing it right now on my cheeks. Um, The pigment in this is just so gorgeous. I can't stop wearing it ever since I bought it. They do have a O2, I believe it's called. Um, It's like a dupe for whis Whisper of Guilt, which I do have. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go get it. But, you know, I might. Who knows? I might get it, even though I already have it. I just, I feel like I need everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, next for my cream highlight that I've been really, really into. Usually I don't um, really cream highlight that much. But I've been really into it. This is the NARS Multiple in Al Ally or something. It's a... L T A I. It's just like a cool tone brown. I absolutely love this one. It is so, so nice to work with. And the brush that I've been absolutely obsessed with to cream contour is the Pro Contour Blender um, Sephora brush number 77. And it is so perfect for the size of your cheeks. And to blend it out is so perfect. The hairs on it are just so sturdy and well glued in there that I just, I absolutely love this brush. Now next is a eyeshadow, a single eyeshadow from MAC in Uninterrupted. I know I featured this before, but honestly I cannot stop wearing this shadow. Especially if you have blue green eyes, this is just perfect. I wear it all over the lid in the crease um, on my lower lash line. I wear it any way I can. I've even tried to contour with it. I know. I just, I absolutely love this shadow. I cannot tell you how much I love this shadow. I think it's like 20 bucks or something, but I use this so, so much. It's definitely my most used shadow of life. Like seriously, I just, I love this color. It's kind of like a, a weird color to be like so obsessed with because it's kind of like a diarrhea brown, like kind of nasty color, but honestly it makes your eyes look so, so bright and beautiful. I just, I love the shadow. Next for contouring is my beloved, beloved Smashbox palette. As you can see, I have totally hit pan on my contour color. I use this every day. The quality of this palette is undeniably amazing. The Kat Von D, the Anastasia one, there's just no touching the quality of these um, shadows. I absolutely love this palette, especially that um, cooler tone brown shadow. I just, I love it. And I actually have been using this one a little bit more. I just, I absolutely love the quality of this Smashbox contour palette. Now, next for primer is my Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Mattifying Primer. This stuff is amazing, especially if you have oily skin. I do moisturize, I put on my SPF, which is the Shiseido 42, and then I slap this baby on. This stuff is awesome. Um, I put it on yesterday, and I didn't have to blot once, and I have super, super oily skin. So if you are in the market for a new primer to help you out with your oily skin, then I couldn't recommend this stuff enough. Next for lips, if you guys have any kind of issues of um, your liner or lipstick going around the sides of your mouth, then this No Bleeding um, Crayon is awesome. It's just a clear thing, but I I use this every single day. It's awesome. They sell it at Sephora. I just put it all around um, the sides of my lip liner and it completely works. Lip stick. I have been absolutely obsessed, obsessed with um, this sheer lipstick from Urban Decay and it's called Obsessed. It is a sheer pink color. 
but when you put it over a darker brown like ideal from Lancome it just makes the prettiest natural full lip I do have it on right now I think I did feature this in a tutorial if not I will soon um, but it is honestly my favorite it is completely my favorite next my next favorite for lip is this NARS larger than life um, never say never velvet lip pencil and it is a very hot pink and I usually don't go for bold lips I usually like a nude but I've been venturing out into a little bit more bolder lips and something that's gonna make me look more healthy if that makes sense because sometimes nude lips kind of looks a little aging I feel like and I'm trying to look a little younger <laughs> um, but I really really do like the pinks right now those pinks they just make your lips look really nice and juicy and full this month I have been really really loving the Mac face and body and this is in n5 I just really like I'm really conscious about my skincare I have a very in-depth skincare system and I take very 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 good care of my skin and I like the idea that this is 80% water and I just feel like that is so much better than a more full coverage um, like paraben and everything kind of foundation so I really like the face and body it is so so pretty on the skin especially if you apply it the right way I will be doing a um, brand new foundation routine featuring this so watch out for that but this is honestly becoming such a favorite and who did I I think I started watching this because, or I got this because of Ariel. Um, I'll link her down below. She's like a model, like the most gorgeous person I've ever seen in my life. But she really likes this, and I did pick this up because of her. My next favorite is a mascara. This is the Roller Lash from Benefit, and I really, really, really like this mascara. It does have a curved wand, just like the Dior Iconic Overcurl Mascara, so I think that's why I like it so much, just because of that wand, and it is super, super black, so it makes your lashes look very thick and long, and the only thing I don't like is I don't like putting it on my lower lashes, just because it does transfer just a little bit, but for your top lashes, it works perfectly fine. Next is actually my necklace that my husband bought me. I absolutely love it. Um, I saw Brianna Stanko wearing this and I absolutely fell in love with it and I bought it off Stella and Dot and um, I bought it from Natalie Flowerbomb I believe that is her name on here but I love it it says M C M um, my husband's name is Matt my daughter's name is Chloe and my son name is Max so I absolutely love this. I will wear it forever. It is so, so gorgeous. I will link her cell and dot thing down below. All right, you guys, this is the finished video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little update, I am still moving, so I know the videos haven't been as many as I would like to upload, so please, please bear with me. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.